Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And we thank God, amen, for another opportunity to serve God's people and to share God's word as we prepare to break the bread of life on this Wednesday night Bible study. We thank God for you, Ebenezer, and those who are visiting, amen, for tuning in on this virtual Bible study experience. Amen. We welcome everyone for joining us online. If you are visiting, type in the chat and let us know where you're from. Amen. We want to we want to keep in contact with you. So please do us a favor and complete the information at ebenezerame.org forward slash connection dash car. And the instructions, amen, will be there, amen, for you to fill out, amen. Again, we want to welcome you to this Wednesday night, amen, on May 22nd Bible study. And we are so grateful and honored, amen, uh, for the privilege to stand before you. And we thank God for you tuning in, turning up, amen, and focusing in with us as we travel through the word of God to break the bread of life. Amen. Amen. Uh, we want to thank our pastors in their absentia. We want to thank them, uh, the Reverend Dr. Granger Browning Jr. Amen. Our co-pastor, the Reverend Dr. Joanne Browning. Amen. We thank God for them and all that God continues to do through and in and with them as they bless the kingdom of God here on earth as it is in heaven. We want to thank the officers, amen, of our great church, amen, our ministerial staff. We want to give a special shout out to multimedia, amen, for putting this all together for us, amen, to our friends and family. We thank God for your prayers. And when you heard that Reverend Washington, amen, was doing Bible study tonight, amen, that you tuned in on YouTube, amen, the church website, amen, amen. Uh, 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 Facebook or wherever you log in and whatever platform that you connect with us on, we are honored to have you join us tonight. Let us not belabor the moment and let us, before we do anything, open up with a word of prayer. How many of you still believe that prayer changes things? Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and we bless you for this moment this time in this sacred place and space. God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you would allow us another opportunity to be saturated by your presence, God, to be empowered by your spirit, but more importantly, God, to be opened up to an experience, God, through and with you tonight that you would allow us to be able to hear from heaven, God, a word that would transform, transition, and transmit and mute our lives. We thank you now in advance, God, for all that you're about to do and say. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen. Amen. We invite you to hear the selection. Amen from uh, one of our choirs this evening. Come on and give God a hand clap of praise as we prepare to set the atmosphere to break the word of life, the bread of life. Amen. Come on, wherever you might be, put your hands together and hear now from our choir ensemble. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He's going to do it, y'all. He's going to do it. Thank you. Y'all ready, brothers? Come on, sing it. I believe in. I believe. Come on, come on, come on. It's my season. It's my season. Anybody believe that in this place? Come on, where you're walking, I believe. I believe. Come on, that it is my time. Come on, sing it, brothers. It's my time. It's my time. I can I feel it. Come on, there's breakthrough that's in the room. Come on, that. Breakthroughs in the room. Come on, anticipating. Come on, see that. Anticipating. God's getting ready to move, man. God's getting ready to move. How many y'all believe that? Come ahead. Oh, I know. For oh, I know my God is working me. Just for me. It's gonna be. How many y'all believe that again? Come on, come on, say this. Come on, say it again. It's gonna be big, guys. And it's gonna be big. Uh huh. Come on, sing it, Kingsman, this morning. Uh huh. Let's say it like this. Uh huh. Say this. God's going. 
gonna open the windows of heaven for the hour of mercy. There won't be room to contain it. No need to try to explain it. But it's gonna be big. Hallelujah, we believe it. God's about. God's about to blow my mind. Come on, come on. God's gonna open up. God's gonna open the windows of heaven. Pour me out the blessing. There won't be room to contain it. No need to try to explain it. Come it's gonna be big. Hallelujah. Come on, say God's about to blow. God's about to blow my mind. Come on, say this. And it's gonna be, and it's gonna be big. Come on, come on, say big. Big. What God's getting ready to do is gonna be big. Come, it's gonna be big. Big. And it's gonna be big. Big. 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 And they want to say big. Come on, say big. Big. Come on, gonna be big. Big. It's gonna be big. Big. And it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. Amen. Come on and give God another hand clap of praise for that wonderful rendition. Amen. That sermonic selection. And we thank God uh, for them bringing forth that song that touches our hearts and encourages our spirit. Amen. Tonight, this Wednesday night Bible study, I won't be before you too long. Amen. But if you allow me just a couple of minutes, amen, to share God's word with you, I pray that it'll, amen, touch you and bless you in such a way Amen. That will help you encourage your heart and your mind, your spirit to know that God is still able. Amen. To do exceedingly and abundantly above all what we could think and or imagine. I want to call your attention, uh, if you could, call your attention to a very familiar piece of text and scripture. Amen. From the Old Testament, the Old Testament book of Psalms, the Old Testament book of Psalms. And uh, this particular psalm happens to be one of my favorites. Amen. And I'll be reading from the New Living Translation, Psalm 23. Psalm 23. Amen. Or whatever device you have, or if you're still old school and you got your, your, your physical Bible, won't you turn, go with me to this uh, very familiar text, Psalm 23, just six verses. A amen. Before tonight, we'll only be focusing in on one verse, verse number one. But I want to read the whole psalm in its entirety and we invite you amen and during your quiet meditative moments that you would go back and reflect on the whole psalm and that you would pray and ask God to give you a deeper revelation that would impact your life amen psalm 23 written by David amen before he became king but in the midst and in the meantime and between time amen from the time he was anointed amen going through uh, uh, some of life's most challenging moments. He was in a space where, for most of us, amen, where, where life was lifing for him. Life was lifing for him. Let me read it. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me besides peaceful, peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valleys, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast, you prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life. And 
I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Want to go back real quick and focus in, amen, on verse number one. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. And we want to go to the A clause, the Lord is. And would ask that you would consider for this Bible study theme, God is my everything. God is my everything. Beloved, uh, there are times in our lives when we find ourselves, amen, going through uh, what the songwriter said, uh, in places where life is filled with what? Swift transitions. And there are times when uh, we find ourselves going through with the Capital One commercial uh, comes on, a, a, a man, what, 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 what happens to you fast uh, when life is lifing and what's in your, your wallet? Amen. Uh, uh, there are times, beloved, just because uh, of uh, uh, our current climate and us existing on this third rock from the sun uh, where we experience months, years, and days, um, where there are things that happen when we don't have an explanation for them. However, by faith, by faith, we believe and stand on God's word in an assurance, uh, knowing that God is still able to do anything but fail. Uh, but, but at the same time, as we uh, live in this, this diametrical pull, we have to deal, amen, with some of the uncertainties that, that life throws at us when we find ourselves experiencing uh, some troubled or challenging times. Somebody say amen. And in, in the text here today, amen, in Psalm 23, we find a young David, a young adult David, who was anointed to be king at 17, however, did not uh, 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 move or walk into or sit on the throne as king until he was in his mid-30s, amen? But in the meantime, and in between time, life really got extreme and was lifing for him, a amen? While he was gifted and anointed, he was even appointed, it did not give him diplomatic immunity from going through and experiencing troubled times. Ah, uh, you, 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 you might uh, uh, not, not, not know what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can bring it uh, uh, a little bit closer, amen, to you. you you've, you've spent some time in college, you've paid your dues, amen, and you've graduated. These are for my seniors, and you have an expectation that you've done all the things that you were asked and told to do, but you're still challenging finding a good job. Uh huh. Uh, let me see if I can get a little closer. Uh, 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 you, you've had a good, clean uh, uh, health record, amen, from, from going in and, and getting your annual checkups. But this one time, something showed up out of the blue, amen, and the doctors are questioning what is going on. Now, you, you haven't changed your diet. Uh, uh, you, 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 you continue to eat clean and uh, uh, live a healthy lifestyle. However, this one time something popped up that caused concern and question. Uh -huh. Has everybody scratching their heads because when they look back over the history, they don't see any uh, 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 pathological concerns uh, uh, that might uh, uh, bring up a question about your health. But this time, this time, something, something showed up, and it kind of has us, uh, has you thrown off a, a, a little bit, a little bit. A, a, amen, amen. When life is is lifing, something that you you may have made a bad decision about a long time ago, and thought it was done, it was laid to rest, and then all of a sudden that thing creeps its ugly head back into your space. A amen. And, and you wonder where in the world did this come from in left field trying to throw me off my game? Dealing with life adversities, dealing with life challenges, dealing with 
uh, 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 circumstances, amen, in issues that cause us concern, amen, uh, that appear in particularly out of nowhere where it feels as though we're not even prepared to deal with that issue, amen. You know when uh, your money is funny and your change been a little strange and all of a sudden you, you this year you ain't never had to pay taxes, uh, but all of a sudden this year you got a tax bill. And it's just not some old tax bill, but it's a, it's a hefty one. You're trying to figure out, God, what in the world is going on? You are stretching my faith through this adversity. You see, adversity comes to do one of two things. It comes to strengthen us and to build us up, or it comes to cause doubt, amen, and the enemy can use it. Amen. To, 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 to bring us down, to hold us hostage, to cause us to, cu to question who God really is in our lives. And we find David, amen, having to deal with some adversity, amen, in his life. As I said, he was anointed, called, and appointed. Amen. But he had to go through the adversities of life on his way and journey to becoming king of all of Israel. And in that midst of all of that, he had to pause for the cause because he was a man. Uh, 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 he was enemy of the state. Amen. Through what, what our pastor had called said on Sunday, state sponsored violence. He had a hit on his life by King Saul. Uh, he was he was pushed out of his home, became homeless, a, a man, and, and, and everything and everybody that was associated with him was on that list. And so David was asking the question, where, what, and how is this going on? Uh, when, when, when I was anointed and called for something that I wasn't even looking for. Amen. I'm, I think I'm speaking to somebody. You, was, you, you, you were anointed and called to do something in the kingdom while you was minding your business doing what uh, uh, you thought uh, you were born to do. And God came in and disrupted and interrupted your time. And the next thing you know, you, you were experiencing a whole set of other issues. Well, I stopped by just to encourage your heart to let you know that God didn't leave you by yourself. And we can see that right here in Psalm 23. Uh, it says that the, lo the Lord, excuse me, the Lord is my shepherd. Now, let me go back to, to that one two-letter word, is, and why that is prominent in this text for us. It, 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 it kind of helps to uh, 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 lift the standard, amen, and separate out uh, and jumps out the text uh, to us. Uh, this this, this two-letter word is that is designed and designated as a verb. Let me, let me just tell you what, what, I, what I found out. It says, uh, is, is, a classif is classified as a verb. It does not describe any action as many other verbs do. Is is known as a state of being in a verb, which means it refers to the existence of something. The most common state of being in this verb is to be. And is is a derivative of this word. Did you hear what I said? It, 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 it is, 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 is defined as a common state of being a verb associated with to be. Let me, let me see if I can bring it home. When, 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 when Moses met uh, God, uh, the presence of God in the burning bush and, 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 and God gave him the assignment, he said, who should I say sent me? And God, God said, tell them that, that, that I am that I am sent you. Uh, that translates in, 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 in some Bibles in, in Hebrew, uh, I will be who I will be at that appointed time. And, and it's there that, that we find, amen, some encouragement when, when we're 
going through troubled times in our lives. You, you got to be intentional about how you call on God. God, you got to be intentional how you call on God when you're experiencing what appears to be some troubled waters in your life. David was intentional. He said, I need, I need a covering. The Lord is my shepherd. See, back in the biblical days, a person's name usually says something about that person's character or destiny. Uh, this is why the many names of God, and we're going to go through it, God are, 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 are vitally important to us to see and to understand. Each name of God reveals something about his character. At the same time, God's name shows us many different ways in which he, God, is there to help us in our time of trouble and in our time of need. Somebody need to say amen. Ah, let, let me just go through quickly, amen, so that when you find yourself dealing, amen, with some of life's circumstances, you can call on this God, amen, who is still able to do anything but fail. Uh, since you can call on him when you need him as Elohim, amen, as God, superior, amen, amen, the God of the universe, the known world. You can, you can call him Yahweh, amen, Jehovah, amen, the, the God who promised us, amen, that he would never leave us nor forsake us, amen. You, you can call him Amen. If somebody is speaking, amen, or something is trying to pull down to cause some doubt, amen. El Elyon, the most high God, amen. Let God arise and his enemies, what? Fall. There is no other God besides me. Hear ye, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. El Elyon, or you can call him like the Lord called him. Amen. Adu, Adunai. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, master, Father. Amen. Amen. The God who sees me, El Roha, El Roi, El Roi. Amen. When you're wondering and you're questioning, God, are you there? God, do you see what they're doing to me? Amen. God says, all you got to understand is this. Not only do I see you, I'm there. David said that, that if I make my bed in heaven or if I reside in Sheol, in hell, thou art with me. Even the darkness is light in thine eyes. Or, or you can call him El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty. A amen. Uh, uh, El uh, Oliam, the everlasting God. In, in the words uh, the, from my son when they used to watch Toy Story of Buzz Lightyear's, he is from infinity to and, and beyond. There is no beginning and no end with him. He is Alpha and Omega, the God who is sovereign in our lives. Then, if you need uh, a provider, we call on Jehovah Jireh. He is my provider. Amen. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals you. I, I don't know about you, amen, but there are many times that I've gotten on my knees and cried out in the middle of the night to Jehovah Rapha to heal my body, heal my spirit, heal my soul, Heal my mind. Matter of fact, if you need a healing in your life, I dare you to stretch your hands wherever you might be to whatever device you might have. And we're believing in the name of Jesus, the Jehovah Rapha healing, amen, will fall on your life and heal your condition and your situation. Amen. The Lord is my banner, Jehovah Nisi. Amen. You, you don't have to fight. For that, for the battle is not yours. Whose is it? It's the Lord. 
Jehovah Nisi. A amen. And, and Jehovah Makadisi, the Lord who sanctifies you. That, that, that even in your past when you've made bad decisions and wrestling with bad habits and relapsing because you made some bad decisions. God told me to tell you, you've been sanctified. You've been clean, washed in his word and set aside for such a time as this. But this one here, Jehovah Shalom, the Lord is my peace. Whatever is causing you stress and anxiety, whatever has you staying up in the middle of the night, crying and worrying with tears in your eyes, unrest in your spirit, I, I want to pause just to speak some Jehovah Shalom, some peace that surpasses all understanding. And this peace, the world didn't give it to you, and the world can't take it away. And so in, in this one verse, David writes, the Lord is. Not that God was, but that he is right now. And I need you to, I need you to capture that and I need you to pull that into your spirit and into your space. I need you to allow that to take up residency in your consciousness and in your subconsciousness that no matter what life throws at you, no matter what condition, situations, or circumstances that you are facing, God is. Why? Because he is enough. Not just yesterday, not just for tomorrow, but I'm talking about right now in your current situation, at your current residence, in your current space, on your job, amen, and at school, wherever you find your place in space now, God is and he's able to be any and everything you stand in need of. If you need a doctor, God is. If you need a lawyer in, in the courthouse, God is. If you need a healer in a healing for your mind, body, spirit, and soul, God is. If you need a provider because you're wondering where is the next meal and how I'm going to pay these bills, God is is if you're feeling left alone and vulnerable and you need to be protected God is if you need a, a way maker because you can't figure it out for yourself God is if you need a savior God is God is my and yours all in all he will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could think or imagine. Won't he do it, church, over your virtual experience of the highways and byways? Won't you just say, won't he do it? Won't he heal your body? Won't he fix your relationships? Won't he uh, uh, clean out all the clutter from your mind? Amen. Won't he elevate you in due season when the promotion, amen, you thought you were overlooked for? Won't he provide a brand new, fresh opportunity? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Somebody shall say, yeah. How do you know? Well, he did it for his son Jesus, who in the garden of Gethsemane was crying so hard that blood was coming from his forehead. He said, 
not my will, but thy will be done. And they arrested him on some trumped up charges. A man that was located in a kangaroo court. Ah, he was publicly humiliated, beaten until he couldn't walk straight. With a cross on his back, marched him up a hill called Golgotha, and they, where they stressed him wide, hung him high. There he put his head in the cliff of his shoulders and died. He was dead all day Friday. He was dead all day Saturday. But early Easter Sunday morning, early Easter Sunday morning, my Bible records that he got up with all power in his hands. And that same power that got Jesus up from the grave is the same power that David is speaking about in the very first verse of Psalm 23 that God is a right now God and he can be and is able to do and become any and everything that we stand in need of. All you have to do is activate your faith. Why? Because faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things believed. And, and by it, the elders, the elders of the church got a good report. God got a good report for you this evening. He, he told me to tell you, don't throw in the towel. Run the race and keep the faith. And in due season, this trouble water and these storms soon shall pass. God bless you this evening. We thank God for you taking time out to spend with us. I hope I didn't keep you too long. Amen. Come on, wherever you are. Amen. Give God a hand clap, a praise. Give God some glory. I hope something that was said and experienced during this virtual Bible study, amen, that encourages your heart, empowered your spirit, but more importantly, let you know with a blessed assurance, amen, that God is still able. And there is a blessing coming your way with your name on it. Come on and give God another hand clap of praise. Amen. There might be someone tonight, this evening, who has tuned in for the first time, or you might have been tuning in to Bible studies for quite a while. And you still have not made up your mind amen, to give your life to Christ. Uh, I simply put it this way, amen, you can't drive your car without insurance. You can't go to the doctor without insurance. Even if you have a house or an apartment, you got to have homeowner's insurance or renter's insurance, and all those insurances, amen, come with a premium, but they're in place just in case you experience Amen. An accident. God forbid or a tragedy. Amen. But the insurance I'm talking about tonight is a policy with your name on it that comes free. Doesn't have a, 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 a monthly premium. Amen. Because Jesus paid, paid the price. He paid it all. However, you got to come and get it. That, that is the only requirement that no one can come pick your policy up for you but yourself. If that's you tonight, amen, won't you put in the chat, amen, I, 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 need, I need my policy, uh, my salvation policy, because life is always going to be lifing. And when the time comes and we all got a date with destiny to be before him, amen, face to face, you want to make sure that your salvation has been secured. So we invite you to go to the church's website, EbenezerAME.org forward slash salvation. Amen. Instructions will be given to you. Amen. Someone from ministerial staff will reach out to you, will pray with you. Amen. Amen. And, and will let you know and welcome you and invite you into the kingdom of God. And we pray that you'll become a part, amen, of this dynamic church called Ebenezer. Amen. Where our pastors, our senior pastors, the Reverend Dr. Granger Browning Jr., our co pastor is the Reverend Dr. Joanne Browning. They would love to be your pastors, and we would love to be your brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. So come on, put something in the chat, 
Amen. Let me know. Holler back at your boy. If you were blessed this evening, we thank God for you again, taking time out of your evening. Amen. Out of your busy day. We, we know that it's playoff season across the board. Amen. And, and so you could have been tuning in to TNT, but you, you, you tuned in to, to Bible study. And we are grateful and honored tonight. Amen. That God will bless you in a mighty and a marvelous way. Amen. It's time to give. Amen. It's time to give. We ask that you would partner with us. Amen. As, as we call your attention to the screen. Amen. We have multiple ways of giving. Amen. In our living. Amen. We're blessed to give and we give because we are blessed to live. Amen. We ask here that you would partner with us at Ebenezer as we continue to reach out to be a blessing to the least of these, to God's community and his people. Amen. Uh, 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 and we give with a heart and an attitude of gratitude because you never know. You might find yourself on the other side needing that offering. We're going to put, ask that they would put it back on the screen one more time. You can give through give, Giveify. Amen. Text to give. A amen. You can go online to give. Amen. Or you could do it the old-fashioned way and just put your offering in the envelope and mail it directly to the church. But we hope to see you for our new, our new folks. If you are new in Christ, we hope to see you on Sunday where we worship here on Allentown Road at 7707 at 9 a.m. Amen. Come get a word, but more importantly, come introduce yourself. Come be a part of the family. We love to love on you. Amen. And, and bless you in a mighty and a marvelous way. Now, let us give the benediction. Now unto him who is able to meet us no matter what we find ourselves in and or going through. To this sovereign, all-powerful, loving, benevolent, and giving wise God be dominion and power henceforth now and forevermore. And the people of God said, amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. God bless you tonight. We love you, Ebenezer, and all of our friends who joined in, and there's nothing you can do about it. God bless you. Have a blessed rest of your day. The next baptismal counseling and instruction session for pouring and sprinkling candidates for children five and under will be held Tuesday, May 28th at 7 p.m. To register to attend, please go to EbenezerAME.org under News and Events. The pouring and sprinkling service will take place on Sunday, June 30th, immediately after the 9 a.m. worship experience. Join our annual Memorial Day celebration service on Saturday, May 25th at 10 a.m. here at Ebenezer. We'll remember those loved ones we've lost over this past year while honoring the men and women who gave their lives while serving in the armed forces. There will be praise and worship and a powerful word from guest preacher, Reverend Dr. Gerald Fulsom, pastor of Greater Mount Nebo AME Church, Light refreshments will be served following the service. Join us in person or live on our website or Ebenezer's YouTube channel. Children and youth, join us as we explore biblical principles for savings and finances at the Kids and Teens Financial Literacy Workshop on Friday, May 24th at 6.30 p.m. here at Ebenezer. This is a free event, but registration is required by Wednesday, May 22nd. Register to attend at EbenezerAME.org slash youth. For more information, contact Ebenezer's Epic Kids and Teens Ministry at 301-635-8413 or email epicyouth at ebenezerame.org. It's almost here. The 2024 God is a Wonder Women's Spiritual Retreat and Restoration Conference. Don't miss the 39th Annual Retreat Briefing on Tuesday, May 21st at 7 p.m. Hear more about the exciting and new things planned for this year and learn details about the customized conference platform. Attend in person or stream live on EbenezerAME.org or Ebenezer AME Church's YouTube channel. Sisters, don't delay. 
Register today for the 2024 Women's Spiritual Retreat and Restoration Conference. Thursday, May 30th through Saturday, June 1st, right here at Ebenezer. It's a powerful, life-changing experience featuring even more workshops this year with anointed facilitators, two afternoon answers, three worship services, a young adult segment, Marette Brown Clark as our special musical guest, and more. And when you register, you'll get access to all workshops and worship services for two weeks following the retreat. Attend in person for $149 or virtually for $119. Go to GodIsAWonder.com to register today. Then mark your calendars for the 40th Annual Women's Day on Sunday, June 2nd. Join us for a dynamic worship experience at 9 a.m. with guest preacher Reverend Shavita Fondi. Attend in person or stream the service live on Ebenezer's website or YouTube channel. Let's praise and celebrate God and all he has done during this 40th women's season, knowing always that God is a wonder. <laughs>